All right, so we're on the home screen, find your settings. And from here, you can search on the top left, accessibility is what we want. We're going to find under accessibility, switch control. And I already have this turned on because I've already used it. But if this is your first time using this thing, then you can turn it on. It'll ask you a question. Click yes. And then in switches, add new switch, screen, full screen, and then under tap, under system, you want to select tap. And go back to switch control. We're going to make a recipe. We're going to make a create new recipe. And I'm going to call this repetitive tap. And assign a switch, full screen. And this one, you want to do custom gesture. So you can hide the controls, but you don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do right now is wherever the button is on your screen, you want to be clicking that really, really as quick as possible. So when I click it, it's going to have blue trailing. But as soon as that trailing turns to gray, you want to click save in this top right corner. So I'm just going to act like it's right here. So I'm just going to start tapping. Um, if I wasn't holding the iPad, I would use, you know, two hands and just da -da 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 -da, but I'm kind of holding it. So, all right, here we go. It's gray. Save. Cool. Go back to recipes. And from here, we're going to click launch recipe and we're going to launch the one that we just created. Back to recipes and then back to switch control. Now we're on the last step. So under timing, we're going to click loops and you want to click the maximum. So what that means is for every one click, it's going to click 10 times in our context, at least. All right. So now we're going to go over how to use this. I'm just going to open up notepad here. I've got one set up. All right. So in order to launch it, if you don't have a home screen, then you use the power button. If you do have a home screen, you click one, two, three on the home screen. But I'm going to click on the power button since there's no home screen on this. So one, two, three. Now my switch control is on. I'm going to tap the screen and you can tap anywhere on the screen. It doesn't matter to activate this. I'm going to do it for 10 seconds. I'm actually going to time it and then stop after the 10 seconds. And you'll see like how long it goes for. So ready, set, go. In order to stop the switch control, you click it three times, one, two, three, and then it'll turn off. So you could from there, but you can see it kept on going. 